Hi everyone. This lesson is going to be about edging. So we're going to open my painting here. That's a work in progress also. And we're going to go to File Clone because we're going to do this all on the clone up version. I'm going to minimize that. The original and here we have it. I'm going to make sure I have chosen my Marilyn Messier brush and I'm going to test the size of it to make sure it will show up. And I'm using a color that will be very dark. I wouldn't normally use, but this is for purposes of you being able to see everything. I'm going to go Control Z to get rid of that mark I just made. And notice I can't see the outside of my painting. So I'm going to pull down this right handle because I want to see the entire edge here. Okay, we're going to go to Select All. And then we're going to go to Select Stroke Selection and the stroke is going to go around. Okay, that little bit that you saw there, that's a little bit of a memory issue and uh, it's, uh, I've been trying to get rid of it but it just won't go away. But you see the stroke went all the way around. Now we have here the selection is still chosen so we want to go to select none. Or we go control D and that will delete that selection. Now we can add a layer. Let's get our layers palette. And we're going to add a layer. And we're going to get the rectangular selection tool. And I'm going to go ahead and do another selection. But this time it's going to be on the layer. So I'm going to go to select, stroke selection. And you notice you can see the selection, but nothing actually showed up. The reason is that this brush, Marilyn Messier brush, will not paint on a layer. So I wanted you to see that if that happens, you need to definitely choose a different brush. So we'll go ahead and do that. I don't have another brush set up in here yet. So we'll go ahead and we'll just choose one of the portrait brushes from your portrait set right now. And I was going to add this brush anyway. And leaving the layer open, I'm going to go to Select Stroke Selection. And now you see if I go to Select None, you can see this layer showed up. When I get the Layer Adjuster tool, I can now move this layer around. And if I go to Effects Orientation, Free Transform, I can grab the little handles and I can change this layer, maybe just put it down here right on the sign. And I need to go to Effects again, Orientation, Commit Transform, and I'm going to zoom in here so you can see it. And here is that selection. So I change the size of the selection, I move the selection, and we have it all ready to go here. So you can see it's pretty simple to do this. You can play with a lot of different brushes. And don't forget to drop your layer and to give your new edged painting a new name. Okay. Let's go on to the next step and continue in the lessons. Thanks.